Hello, I'm Ederson Oliveira. I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com. In this video, I'll be showing how you can debug your .NET Nook module. Now, I, I'm going to go straight to, to the, the scenario here. I have a DNN6 website. I'm already logged in as super user. And I have my simple module added to this page. And it's just a simple Hello World uh, module. And I'm going to show how we can go about debugging this module. So I have installed the module already in my site. And I'm going to go on Visual Studio 2010 to debug this module. Now, just to give a little bit of, a, of a, a background of the environment that I have here. I'm running, my OS is Windows 7. And I'm uh, running the, I, I'm developing the, the, the module in Visual Studio 10. 2010, sorry, and I also have my in my local system a DNN6 website in my local host, in my local system. So my project is right here. Here's Visual Studio 2010, and here is my simple project. I just have one control, and in the load page load of this control, um, I have a, a variable. I'm setting a string va value to this variable and I'm sending it back to a label in the control itself. So how can we go about debugging this module? Uh, let's say that um, I want to find out the value of the, the message variable here. So before that, a few things that we have to take care of. The first thing is that regardless, regardless where your module is located, the, the the files of your module solutions are uh, module solution is located in your system i would suggest that you compile the module inside inside the bin folder of your website of your .net nook website to do that you can go to the solution right click and go to properties under properties we can set where is the uh, build output path and I'm going to browse that. I'm going to... My site right now is running under inetpub, www.root. And I have a folder called dnn600. And here's my bin folder. So I'm, I have selected this folder as the output folder. Now, the next thing that I have to make sure is that my, my build, when I compile... Uh, it's generating debug information as well. To check that, I can go to Advanced Compile Options and I can uh, check the property that says Generate Debug Info. And from my experience, PDB only is enough to generate uh, debug information that we need. Now, of course, once you are ready to deploy this module, you need to switch that, to switch that back to None. So there's no debug information in your final compilation. But again, while you are developing your module, you should have uh, at least PDB only uh, debug information being generated. So we're going to confirm that. We're going to click OK. We're going to save this. So the output path is now inside the bin folder of my website. Now I can close this. And let's say that I want to put a breakpoint right in this line. So I can just go to the gray to gray area here, my editor, and just hit. And that will be my breakpoint. Now, what do we have to do next? We have to attach the, the process to our debugger. So uh, we're going to go to Tools attached to process. Now from here, uh, you most likely if you have never used this option, those uh, two checkbox will be unchecked. So you may want to check them to make sure that you can see all process within your system. I would order by process name. And if you scroll all the way down, you should be able to find one that is called w3wp.exe. This is the one that we have to attach to in order to be able to debug our module. So let's let's select that. Let's click attach. 
it will give us a warning that's fine now from here we can just open our browser and we can refresh this so everything gets reloaded now as you can see breakpoint has stopped right there and i can step into by pressing f8 now i can see message has hello world and again now i'm in debug mode i can see my variables i can do the the regular stuff that we we have to do in order to debug code now i can run that let's say it's okay so i, I run that again if i refresh again it will stop again i'm gonna just try to do something here just to prove that it's been changed i'm just gonna edit the hello world by right clicking and then go edit value let's say hello world one and i'm gonna just run that now so as you can see it has changed so we are now able to debug our module now just two final notes one is that we are using here the develop the module development approach called web application project in short it's called uh, wap so that's that's a very common and that's my preferred way of creating uh and developing modules but there's also another approach called wsp which is not the way uh, I have set up this particular module. This particular module, the way I have shown the debug option is really towards the web application project approach when developing uh, .NET modules. The other note that I want to, uh, to make is that I'm running the site in my local host. So this site right here is my local host and it's in my inetpub folder. So when I try to debug when I try to compile the module inside directly inside the bin folder of the website. I was not able to do that straight away because I I didn't have administrator permission. So what I had to do is I had to run my Visual Studio as administrator. To do that, you can just right click in the Visual Studio link. And there is an option to run Visual Studio as an administrator. So I had to run as an administrator. Otherwise, it would not compile properly directly into the bin folder of my website. So, so this is it. This is how you can debug your module when you are using the web application project approach in .NET Look, Thank you very much and bye for now.